This is Phil in Florence. As a YouTube uh, channel and cook, we all have our want list. You know, I've had a list of things I've been wanting to get, like a good slicing knife and boning knife. But there's something else on my list that I've been looking at and wanting to get for over a year. And that's what I got. I finally ordered it. Paid for it, not free, didn't win it. So, I got it, and it's here, and I'm going to use it on this cook tonight. If that gives you a hint, it's going to be a night cook, all nighter. But guess what? I'm going to be in the bed. You know why? Because I got me a barbecue guru. Yep. You don't know what a guru is? I know all you channels. Uh, YouTube cooks you know what a guru is some of you have them already but some of you might say well I'm not spending more on an accessory than what the cooker cost well you know sometimes it it might just be worth it I've always wanted a pellet grill still don't have one where you can set it and forget it well a guru kind of gives you that option to set it and forget it because it does all the heavy lifting for you keeping up with the temperature so let me turn this camera around and show you what I got going on on this cook hold on now you you the star of the show yep there it is another one USDA prime 17.41 pounds a nice chunk of money. We went by Costco. We were visiting some friends, relatives down in Charleston, Mount Pleasant area. And we went in Costco as a guest and we were able to pick up this it's prime time, brisket. It's time to trim okay. up this brisket. Oh, I can tell the difference between a 17 pound, which 17.4, which is what this is, versus that 13 pound one I did last time. You don't, you don't just grab it with one hand and pull it over. It takes two hands. I'm just going to take my fillet knife here and my boning knife and uh, start working on some of the thicker sections of this fat. You know the deal. This is the meat side, so we don't really want a whole lot of any of this stuff on here. So we'll just work on it a little bit. Yeah, that's a thicker piece there.
set this in a pan back in the fridge. I'm going to be putting it on some about 10 minutes after 5. I got other things to do tonight, so I wanted to get this done out of the way. And so it's going to be ready to go whenever I fire up that Weber Smoky Mountain with that extra large capacity charcoal. Come way. back at 10 o'clock tonight. We're going to start this thing. We're going to fire the jack. I see. It's time to begin this risk of cook. It's 10 o'clock. This is my extra large capacity charcoal ring. Braids made for me. We said smoking barbecue. Man. A little chimney, half a chimney, about that many. There you go, that'll be perfect. I got uh, a chunk of hickory, set that in there. A chunk of cherry, I'll set that down in there. And two little chunks of pear wood. Got that from. Uh, Greg over at the Woodshed Smoke Barbecue. So we're doing the garden right there in the middle. Right in the middle. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, here we go. Back again. Okay. I'm good. I'm gonna put my lock All right. down. What we got is a barbecue guru. Woo. It's my first time doing this. Jay Dallum said, uh you have you operated that thing yet? You might want to have a few trial runs. <laughs> no, I have not. So, we're winging it. I've seen it done. Get some wires through here. I can see. Everything's different at night. We put the brisket on. Put the fat side down. So 22 will hold 17 pounders. Uh, <laughs> I've had a time of it. First thing, I forgot to put the water pan in. So I had to take everything out, put the water pan in, fill it up with some hot water. Second thing, I hadn't been able to get this guru to work. It, the fan just now started coming on. I, I'm going through the book looking at what I need to do, what the control commands are, but it's doing its own thing. <laughs> so, Jay Dallum, you were right. I should have had a practice run. Is <laughs> this what, about uh, quarter after five next morning? Uh, got good news and bad news on the brisket cook. Well, we got a brisket and it's looking good. The bad news is the barbecue guru uh, is not good. Right out of the box, uh, when I plugged it in, I could not program it. It would not uh, accept any of my command selections, and I couldn't use it. So I was real disappointed in that. But... Uh, we're getting ready to wrap this brisket in some butcher paper. So stand by and we'll see what we can do with it. The uh, internal temp, 163 so far. Oh, I've got some uh, beef broth I'm going to put on it. Check with you at daylight. Good morning, YouTube. Well, it's been nine and a half hours since I put that brisket on last night about 11 o'clock. And uh, we got a brisket, but I disappointed my guru, it just didn't work 
out of the box. I tried my best to get it to do something, but uh, you know, I was really looking forward to uh, having that thing control my cooker so I could go back in. But you know what? The WSM being what it is, after a couple hours attempting to get that thing to work, I, I just disconnected it and went back to basics. The old Weber Smoky Mountain came through with shining colors. Um, we got in a stall at about 160 degrees after about six hours. So I wrapped it, as you saw, and it's, you know, I went back and got in the bed and had my my smoke by my bedside and uh, it's, uh, it maintained about 248 degrees, 250 for the last four hours. And uh, it still is at 164 internal. So we got a ways to go yet. It was a big brisket, so it's still going. It hadn't uh, grabbed a hole of that, that fifth gear to pull on down the stretch. But uh, so it's gonna be another while. It's been nine and a half hours, but uh, it looks like it might be four or five more hours. So I'll have to call Barbecue Guru and see what we can do about this uh, DigiQ DX2. It was just one of those that, uh, as far as I know, was a bad one. And uh, I'm sure they'll, they'll work with me on it. So, I just wanted to check in and uh, we're just gonna let this thing roll and I'll come back when uh, we get down the road with, with the cook. All right Dylan guys, Clark. it's a marathon on this brisket. It's 14 hours and 22 minutes. We're at uh, 177 internal, running about 250 now. Uh, I'm gonna replenish the water in the water pan so I'll let you see how I'm doing that and it's no big deal but it is a big deal I pour in as much as I can with the pitcher and what I can't get in with that I just pour it in this little one quart pot got a little handle guard on it and just dump it right in works real good I got the brisket wrapped right now, but I like to keep water in this water pan to, it's a good heat sink, plus it keeps some moisture in there, maybe keep it from drying out so bad. But uh, it's definitely a heat sink on the, on the temp in the pit. It keeps it a little better constant uh, temperature in my opinion. I think everybody agrees with that. It's giggly. Mm. Hey folks, it's been a long night and day again with the brisket cook, 17 hours and 50 minutes. That's the longest cook I've ever had. I know some of you out there have had some long ones like that. Cover it here. I'm gonna try to get this out of here on this board. See how hot it is. I think I can handle it. Unless the bottom of it's fiery hot. Yeah, there we go. All right, we can see the grain is running this way, so the flat is down here. So we're gonna. I'm not gonna mess with cook trying to cut this very tip off. I'm gonna just come on up and cut there and start there. Yeah. Let's make us some pencil thick slices and see what we got. It 
It's been resting for about an hour and a half while we've been watching some football. I did use the water pan in the Weber Smoky Mountain. And uh, so. And from what I understand, the, the smoke ring will actually develop after you slice it. You'll see it getting darker and darker. So, we're just going to take. Oh yeah, I can tell it's about to fall apart. And this was a prime. Oh man, look at that. It's just, <laughs> I mm. can tell you right now, it's just, mm. it's just pulled apart. Uh, that looks so good. Yeah. Uh, let's try a piece of it. Mmm. That tastes like brisket to me. Good brisket. So tender. Mmm. There you go, camera lady. Mmm. Wow. Oh, that's so Excellent. good. Excellent. Mm. Down Good towards tender. the point. And you can see where the flat mm. and the point separate right there. Um, I think I'm just going to come right here. And go across and slide that down a little bit and then I'm gonna cut across here and here is the infamous shot mm. Wow! you see how juicy that yes. is yeah I've seen juicier but it looks good. It's got a good bark on it. I did the black pepper and salt and black pepper. And I put some amazing Cajun on it. But I want us to try a piece of this point. Toby's over here on my side and staring up at me. <laughs> you want yours, buddy? <laughs> He's wanting his piece. This looks like it's going to be excelente. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's just that's just the the best you can get right there. Oh. Thumbs up, double thumbs up. <laughs> I wish the whole thing tasted like that point. <laughs> that's some good eating. I got to give Jeff a piece of that. Mm. Mm, mm. Now that right there mm. is worth it. Mm. <laughs> yes. That's delicious. Well, folks, that is so good. this is the end of a almost 18 hour cook. Now, if I show all the video that I took leading up to this, there was supposed to be a barbecue guru involved in this cook, but the only thing I'm going to say about that is it didn't happen. And depending on how the outcome is of, of the issue that we had, uh, we'll address that later. But I know some of you knew about it, and I mentioned it was coming. But uh, hopefully it'll all be handled and taken care of in the right way. So I'll let you know. I'll get back with you on that. So this is my cook for today. Another beef brisket, uh, packer brisket, and it turned out excellent. But boy, was it a long one. Almost 18 hours. <laughs> Woo! But I tell you, when you get a piece of that point, it's worth it. Hey, guess what? Both Carolina teams won today, Clemson and Carolina. So Yeah, go Tigers. Thumbs up on that. I hope your team won. <laughs> they can't all win. <laughs> May the best team win, right? Right. Well, this is Phil and Florence and... Janet and Florence. And we'll be seeing you on the next time around. You come back and see us. Bye. See you later. Yeah.